So I wonder if there's anyone here today who can identify with Solomon. No, not in the sense that you're a billionaire. But I wonder if there's anyone here, maybe someone online watching right now, you're watching and you're saying, look, yes, I can't identify with the money part. Maybe some of you can, but I can definitely identify with seeking after happiness in the wrong places. Maybe, hopefully, that's been a past era of your life, but maybe for some of you, this is a current chapter of your life. And now as we've been studying the scriptures together this morning, you feel the Spirit convicting you that there's maybe some kind of sin that you've been holding on to, some kind of sin that you've been presently harboring in your life. Maybe you're struggling with addiction. And I simply want to make an invitation to you right now. And the invitation is this. I want to make two next steps for you, for you here today. The first one, how many today would like to say, you know what, I want to follow the example of Jesus in seeking after holiness and God's purpose for my life. Just put your hand up wherever you are. Amen. God bless you. For those watching online, the same thing. If you're saying, I want to I seek the example of Jesus in seeking after holiness and God's purpose for my life. And, and, and if that's you just, just somehow caught up in some kind of addiction right now, you can call out to Jesus. Jesus can free you from that addiction. He says, if, if the Son sets you free, you shall be free indeed. There's no hole too deep he can't pull you out of. There's no addiction too great that he can't heal. Jesus can do that if you but call upon him and seek after him in holiness. And, and, and holiness, by the way, I know, I know it seems like an abstract term. It, it's just simply being obedient to God, following Jesus and being obedient to him in everything he tells you to do through the scriptures. That's all. So just follow Jesus. Come to the scriptures and just do what God tells you to do. That, that's what holiness is. And you will begin, you, you will become a person that's practicing holy habits.